Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ back with another video. This video, we're gonna do some winter pickups, get into some of the new items that I just got, some gifted, some things that I've been bought in the recent, you know, last few months since it's just starting to get cold and everything. And like I told you, I'm back with the videos. We can go ahead and hop into this. I done had a lot of good pickups, and it's maybe a long video. It may not be a long video. But let's get into these pieces, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on the video. That's helped me out a lot with the algorithm and everything. Let's get into it. So we're gonna get into this jacket right here that's from Entire Studios. I actually have the jacket on right now, just if y'all wanted to see what it looked like on body. If I'm not mistaken, this is a size large, but it's a very heavy, like heavy zip up jacket. And I like this jacket a lot because they layered the inside with like extra fabric and did like this thermal, just like a normal thermal. I'm sure y'all know what that is. But this is one of my favorite jackets. Y'all know I'm good with the people over at Entire Studio. Shout out Seb and Dylan, the owners. I appreciate y'all for sending me as much stuff as y'all do i literally like i told y'all last in, what was this summer i told y'all i'm rocking entire studios all winter and i have been wearing entire studios this whole winter but shout out them and i appreciate y'all for sending me all the stuff that y'all been sending me and we're gonna get into this next item this next jacket right here was a jacket that i always really wanted i think i first seen it on kendall jenner if i can find a picture i'll pop it up right there but i seen this jacket on kendall jenner and i've always wanted it since then and i did a partnership with StockX, they took me out to Detroit for a Travis Scott concert and they let me do like some selects for an outfit. And I seen this, I'm like, oh, it's cold. Like, this is the best time to grab this jacket. I don't really see anybody in a nor normal brown North Face puffer. So, y'all know me. I had to cop down and it's a cool jacket. I wouldn't say I wear it like every single day, but when I'm just chilling or want to throw a quick outfit on to go make a run or go chill with the homies or go to the movies or anything, this is a jacket that I would throw on. And I got a size large in this jacket too super thankful to StockX for getting me right with this jacket definitely is a staple piece that i'm gonna keep for a while for this next top this is a gift that was sent to me from canada goose i got this jacket right here it's a canada goose pier moss collab and i guess i might as well show you how the shoes also while i'm on this jacket but a simple black and yellow jacket you see the labeling right there they sent me this jacket out of three colors i think it was a blue colorway a red and black colorway and then a the yellow i was jacking the yellow a lot more because red i'm not really gonna wear a big red coat and then the blue i don't know it just wasn't hidden like i thought it was supposed to if they did an all black i would have copped the all black for show sure. see on the back right here the stitching with the label but let me show you how the shoes also right here uh, got this box and i say the box literally for this video because i put all my shoes on here so if y'all see the shoes missing obviously it's because i probably put them back in the box for this video and it's just like a winter boot, like a ski boot, snow boots. I like them, honestly. I'll be wearing them every now and then. It really ain't even been too cold in New York to be like, oh, I need these right now. Or like, it haven't been snowing. Could have brought them to Montreal, but I didn't take them to Montreal because it was just like, it was just freezing there. It's not like it was no snow anywhere. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the world is about to end. But I love these boots right here. I got a size 13 in them, and they had the same colorways and knees as they had in the jacket. And I just thought the black and yellow was way cooler i feel like you could play with more silhouettes this way next item right here i picked it up while i was in miami me and four was just walking down some street i don't know where it was we went into the store because i've seen some cdg and some other stuff in there like the normal basic stuff that i'm probably not gonna get but i walked in and i just wanted to see what they had in there so i came across and got this t-shirt right here it's a t-shirt that's from alex crane apparently alex crane is a designer that lives here in new york which i didn't know about but what sold me on this shirt was the material it's kind of like that light i don't know if this is like a cotton blend i have no clue there's no even tags or nothing that's on this but like this light cotton blend that's almost probably like a see-through kind of shirt it's not too see-through but i mean actually i can see through the back of it with the hanger but i don't know super light t-shirt i love the stripes that's on here and it was kind of like another reference t-shirt for stuff that i want to make for my brand so i decided to pick this up it was like 70 dollars. would i just normally pay 70 dollars for a t shirt absolutely not but there were more reasons behind it it was the type of fabric i felt like i was looking for for my stuff the measurements was okay so i'm just probably gonna i usually get stuff like this when i want to sample stuff for my brand and just kind of like piggyback off the original ideas that's also and make it into my own thing so i had picked this one up in miami and i think this is the only thing i bought in miami no it wasn't no it wasn't it wasn't the only thing i bought the next item we're gonna get into is a pair of shoes that i felt like i really wanted at the time 
time, but then I realized they were like another shoe that I had, but they are different. But I had um, my agency, we did a dinner with GOAT during New York Fashion Week. With the dinner with GOAT, they gave us like a credit that I think was like $250 for everybody that was signed to my agency. So it gave us a credit, bro. And these shoes ended up coming out. Cactus Plant, the Air Fleet 2s. I did get these. And I mean, I caught mine for 140 So it was definitely a good pickup for me. I didn't pay retail for them and I paid under what they were. Resale, retail, like I couldn't go wrong with that. So I definitely picked these up. And then once I got them, I'll just show you. I think I've literally worn these shoes one time, but I got the green pair and I thought they were super cool at first. And then I realized like, okay, the way the shoe is cut, you can't really wear these with anything. And I don't know, it's kind of a weird pickup. And it's just a version of these, which is the Balenciaga Defender, but it's Nike, you know what I'm saying? But these sit up a different type of way. So I think they just look a little bit better. And I like wearing these way more than, I think I've literally worn these once. So you never know, I might be doing a giveaway Way or end up selling these ones soon. I think it's a good pickup. I'm definitely not mad about it, but I just don't wear them as often as I feel like I should. But this next item I got from Second Street, I had a partner with them. I was going to Miami for Art Basel, and when I went out to Art Basel, um, I was like, oh, I need some items. Like, I don't really have too many bottoms, but Second Street came through with these right here. There's some Rick Owen shorts. They're from the uh, EDFU Spring Summer 23 collection, and I thought these was cool. It definitely, I feel like, give a Miami type of vibe with these shorts um and i can't really say too much about them because they some normal rick owen shorts but i got the yellow because i'm like oh miami type of vibe little tropical type you know what i'm saying it was a good pickup but i got these for free from second street so appreciate second street for these for sure and show you out the back but yeah, it's not too much of a story really with these. Yeah, I seen them on my Fit Pick. This was the shorts I was wearing with my all Rick Owens Fit, which I don't usually do that often. I think when I wear stuff like that, people just really assume like, oh, he always wears Rick Owens. And I, I absolutely don't, bro. I'm more versatile than that, trust me. The next thing I wanna get into are these pants. This is the other thing that I copped while I was in Miami. And it's these Balenciaga denim right here. I love these pants, super wide. And they ripped up right here. I just really love these pants and once I walked in a Balenci store I don't know it's kind of like an impulse buy but I know this is stuff that I will wear and ever since I bought them I probably wear them like three to four times a week and I don't have no complaints about these pants could I had gone with maybe a small yeah but I felt like the length was different on the small and I'm tall I know I'm 6'3 I got long legs so the small just wasn't as baggy as like what I could make the mediums but the mediums kind of big on my waist and I don't really want to get them tailored these are what I'm rocking with. I got these in Miami from the Balenciaga store. And my dog Kyron got these too. He probably just showed y'all on his video. I'm gonna get into another pair of shoes next. Y'all right? know I worked hard all last year, bro. So I was treating myself a lot towards the end of last year. I was doing a lot of big purchases, but it's stuff that I was like, wanting for a while but weren't able to get at a certain point because the money wasn't right at the time or something else popped up kept the bag because i like how this bag is it's a balenciaga's holiday bag i think it's a yeah happy holidays on it and if y'all know what these are then they're the bulldozer boots but I tried these on when I was in LA and I didn't end up getting them because I got another boot that I'm gonna show y'all later on in the video. I was with Forrest. Forrest like, bro, I don't think you should get them shits. Like, I don't like how they look a certain way, da da da. And then I seen a couple pictures with people wearing them and they had like the toe, or not the toe box. People would style them with the tongue down like that. So when the tongue was down on them, I was just like, oh, I need to get these. So I came back to New York, and when I got back to New York, I decided I was gonna cop, and I ended up buying them another impulse buy, but it was something I was super happy with. I learned a lot of my purchases are impulse purchases, cause I'm just like, oh, fuck it, do it. You'll get it back, you'll get it back some way. Like, just do it. But it's always stuff that I want. Even if I like don't 100% know I want it at the time, I know it's me. So I'm probably gonna get it. If I was crazy about it at some point, I'm probably gonna get it. To save myself some time after this video is over, honestly too, I'm just gonna start putting my shoes back where they were. Work smarter, not harder. 
So this next item right here was a shirt that got sent to me from uh, Lacoste and CDG. It's this shirt right here, and I really, really like the details on this shirt, like the pinstripe on it, and I like how they played with the alligator for Lacoste. I really like this shirt. Don't really have too much of a story behind it. I got it in a size large, and I think it's really cool. I wore it while I was out in Miami, and I'm definitely going to wear it when it get back hot outside. It's just not the time to be wearing this right now, but this CDG shirt is amazing. And we got this entire studio's jacket right here this jacket I'm not gonna lie this is my favorite jacket in my whole wardrobe I'm gonna just be so honest right now and luckily because they're my friends you know what I'm saying I got the sample jacket so this jacket I had ended up going to I was in LA with Forrest and I went to the warehouse and when I went to the warehouse I finally met Seb and Dylan in person Super cool dudes. Dylan is a mastermind. Seb is a mastermind. They just get the shit done. And they end up letting me take this sample jacket out of the LA office before they ended up dropping them. So I probably never get rid of this jacket because it's the sample jacket. And also it's my favorite jacket. Like, look at this, bro. Like I told y'all, I get all my entire studio stuff in a large if y'all been asking. Like I said, again, I'm 6'3", long arms. So I like my arms to fit and they crop all their items super good. So it definitely wasn't no complaints there, but I was very appreciative that they gave me this jacket. Faux leather, I don't think it's real leather. They not trying to get canceled, bro. I feel them, but. It's a cool jacket and I appreciate them for gifting me with this. I wear this jacket a lot and it's a very much, a, it very much goes with all my go-to black outfits. Like if I'm wearing black, nine times out of 10, I'm probably gonna wear this jacket or my other black jacket that's not gonna be in this video that is another entire studios bomber just without the hood. I'm jacking entire studios. You better get from under that rock, bro. I might as well go on the press run right now then. This jacket is also entire studios, but it's like a canvas jacket right here. I'm gonna make this quick because it's the same cuts as the other jacket. It's just a different material and in a different colorway, if you can tell. But super crazy jacket. Don't have too much to say about this one. Entire studios do their shit. And I be getting a lot of this stuff like at the same time. So it's hard to just, I need to just make a full entire studios video. One day that's gonna come. Not gonna be today, let's get into the next jacket. I think this jacket may be from Entire Studios. Also. No, it's definitely from Entire Studios. But it's that same jacket I just had on, but in like this black acid wash kind of color that kind of make it look a little bit gray and old vintage. New York's starting to kind of take a toll on me. I wear a lot of black all the time and I'm not mad about it either. But another jacket from Entire Studios, y'all see the pocket detailing, pocket in here, pockets out here, pockets in the arm. Just pay attention to how all the jackets cut though. It's a very good crop on the jackets. Just got this jacket in the mail. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It came in a box all the way from Italy Y'all yeah, probably have seen this jacket on Instagram. I just got this in today and it is from Palmasano. Palmasano, hopefully I'm saying that right. It probably sounds cooler with somebody that's actually from Italy. It's really like a coat that's like a bomber jacket. Probably, there's a video somewhere on Instagram about how they do the wash. I think, I don't know if this is bleach, but it may be bleach. It was red at first though, but it turns the jacket like this wash color and they did it against the seams pretty much. And I like how the pockets are on this jacket too. But yeah, appreciate them, and I definitely got a fit pick that's coming up with this for soon. I'm so grateful that brands decide to send me items and clothing. But I mean, I do be putting that shit on. But they trust me to put that shit on with they items that they work hard and pay money to make, bro. I understand how this goes, so I'm definitely appreciative of them. These were sent to me by eBay right here. Another pair of cactus plant shoes. I did a brand deal with eBay talking about their authenticity guarantee on their website, and they had us come out to this event, and at the event, we pretty much got to pick out how much i think like a grand or so worth the pieces and it was cool it was definitely a good experience so i had picked these up right here and it's just funny because the place that ebay partnered with to get this pair of shoes when i first moved to new york i worked at the store and we got these in i asked the owner like yo you throw me like knock the price down some for me blah 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 he's like he can't do it basically so it's kind of cool like that it was a full circle moment and i ended up getting these for free anyway so it was just like shave them down i'm not gonna shave them down and i don't even know if i'm gonna put the nike sign on them but i don't wear them that much y'all know all about these bro but it got the zipper 
zipper inside. You can see, you can see like the left and the right. It got zippers right here on the tongue. But I don't think I'm gonna shave them down. I think I'm gonna keep them like this. This one's supposed to look like dirt. This is supposed to look like stone. Super cool shoes, bro. And I mean, I think they're a 12 and a half. I'm a 13, but I don't know. Y'all never know. These might end up going one day too, but I really like them right now. And I don't think I'm gonna sell them because I like how they look with my Balenci jeans when I'm wearing them. It's not some shoe that you just wear every day. So I got majority of the tops out the way. I'm gonna get into like the last two or three pairs of shoes that I got. And then I'm gonna get into some of like the non like clothing pieces, but like accessories, bags, any of that type of stuff. And yeah, I'm not trying to carry this video on too long for y'all. Y'all trying to get in and get out, but I'm providing that sauce. You feel me? So this next pickup was also a gift for me from Carla Otto and Ugg and Telfar. So these, I don't know, I think they released, but I got these early and I really liked it. They came out around Halloween, Thanksgiving. I feel like it was in between that time. Oh, orange shoe. I don't know. I like these Uggs a lot. And I also have the other pair of the Telfar Uggs back here. And I felt like I was one of the first people wearing them shits, bro. Everybody's like, what are those? What are those? Because you don't really know that they're like any collab until you get to the top of them right here. So I try to like tuck a pant leg in the side of it a little bit and let the other one hang. But I really like these shoes and I appreciate Carla Otto, Ugg, and Telfar for sending me these. But they're Uggs. Can't say too much about the Uggs. Like y'all know this. This is a staple piece. This was definitely like my most impulse buy ever. Even when I came home, I'm like, I don't know if I even actually like these enough. Just pay this crazy amount of money for them. But y'all see the box. This box heavy as fuck. But the Montclair Rick boots. I ended up getting these, the black pair, before I went out to Miami. And I wanted the ones that had the like fur on them, but I have a big foot. So they didn't end up making them in my size. And I was just kind of looking at these like, mm, I don't know if I really like these that much. Cause I know what I came in here for and y'all don't have them in my size. Like they didn't even make them in my size. They checked globally everywhere. And they still didn't have them in my size anywhere. So I was just like, mm, and I tried them on. I was looking at them. Everybody in the Rick store is trying to persuade me like you should get them you should get them but i be knowing what i like and what i don't like I ended up copying these and the shit's fire even when i was wearing them in miami and walking around i kept telling forrest like bro i don't know why i got these like i'm gonna just wear them once probably sell them blah 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 then we ended up going flying to detroit from miami to the travis scott concert and i don't know why i decided to actually wear them at the travis scott concert and once they actually got a little like worn and dirty because we decided we was going on the floor to be in the mosh pits and turn up mind you i don't know no Travis Scott songs. Don't cancel me, but 90% of the music he was playing, I didn't know what none of that shit was. But I do like these boots and I ended up keeping them. And I'm glad I did keep them because I know they're going to look good in the summertime and I'm still wearing them usually a lot in the winter. And one of my favorite winter fits, I actually had these boots on. And the last shoes for the video. Y'all see the box, Balenciaga, Ski Wear. So the Ski Wear collection was really cool and I thought... It was a vibe. I ended up getting the ones that didn't have no fur on them, like the tallest ones. But I realized you could literally only wear those with shorts and then be taken away from the purpose of paying fucking two grand to get them. So I'm like, eh, I'm gonna end up taking these back and I was gonna go get those other bulldozer boots I just showed y'all. But then I walked in and they had these sitting in there. And when I went in the first time, these are the ones that I went in there for and they were telling me that they didn't have them. And so I ended up, these run super big, so I ended up getting them in like a 11 and a half, 12, I wear a 13, but it's so much space because it's a ski boot. Disclaimer, you cannot wear these shits in no ski, no water, no snow, or you're gonna have to sit there and blow dry the damn shoes off. Definitely a marketing trick, it's not real ski wear. Don't wear these to go ski, it's not a good idea. Don't wear them in the rain, it's not a good idea. But I definitely love these boots. I wear these to the airport all the time. And yeah, love these boots right here. Shout out Balenci. Balenci been on the road, bro. I know everybody hating the hype Balenciaga got right now, but it's the hype it is for a reason, bro. Let's just let's just state facts here. For these next items, I'm gonna run these two together, but shout out my homie Forrest. This is brand IHP, so this hat is the Homestar hat right here. I think this shit fire, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little, what did you, is this like a six panel? I think it's called a six panel hat, but love this hat right here, and then this zip up that he made. Definitely super hyped. It's a good cotton on the jacket. But I'm sure y'all seen the army jackets that he dropped that was pink. But this one right here 
It got like the rhinestones that are in the jacket. Definitely a fire jacket. And I modeled this when he dropped them. If y'all know Forrest, then y'all probably have seen me wearing this jacket already. Definitely love this jacket. It's like an everyday wear type of jacket. You just gotta take care of your clothes. And then this right here, he got the tag in there that I love IHP. And his brand is IHP, like I'm happy promise. When I first met him and like how he actually is, I thought it meant I hate people, but it's I happy promise. Or maybe it's I hate people actually. And he just told me some shit. So that was the last piece of clothing. So we're going to get into some of like the accessories or like, you know, backpacks, jewelry, whatever the case is. The first piece, we can start off with this necklace that I'm wearing right now. It's from a brand called Scratch, my homie Hova. And then this one right here is a 74 chain. Go hit up Sleazy for that. Shout out to bros. But right here, this belt, it's a belt from Stolen Art. And so I can just show you all the details. You see his skulls that are all lined up. Three, three, three. It's just skulls with like the rhinestone in the eyes. So it kind of sparkle when the sun out and it's hitting it. But I love how this belt is. I feel like not a lot of pe brands or people make belts and socks no more. But I just love how this is. Like it can fold up like that. I just love this belt and it's definitely going to be an everyday wear, especially when I'm wearing black. Shout out Stolen Arts for sending me this belt. Them the home team, them the geysers. But yeah, it's a cool belt and I think my waist is a 32, so I got a 34 in the belt because my waist is pretty small, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Love this belt. These next two items I just got was from Christopher Kites. I think I got these yesterday, but had to show you all the packaging that it came with. And I like how he did the packaging with this right here. Like it just popped, close up. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's cool. It's fine. But I'll show you how the necklaces. This was the first piece I got. It's like kind of iridescent chain with the frosted Jesus piece on it. I thought this was fire. The Jesus piece is really crazy. And it really do look like ice though. Kite's doing his thing. Let me show y'all the other one. And it's probably my favorite one out of the two, honestly. I feel like it's just a little more me. This cross pendant right here. Another one, ice hidden. Like you can see my, my mic that's green through the ice. You feel me? And then just a clear chain around it. I think I'm gonna wear this one a lot. I think this shit really fire. And shout out Kais for sending this. I met him at Complex Con too. Super chill guy down to earth. And I'm glad he sent me this, bro. He really blessed. Like Y'all gonna see it another time. No. <laughs> to end off this video right here, I'm going with my favorite piece, but also these glasses right here that I got from Jens. Jens is, I wanna say it's a Japanese eyewear brand, but they sent me these glasses and I need another pair that has just a clear lens because it's like a yellow tint to them. Nonetheless, y'all see them on my videos a lot on YouTube or not on YouTube, but on Instagram. But this right here, this is like the the one, the man of the show, the, the one I've been wanting since fall, winter, seven. I seen one on Uzi and this was the one that I just wanted after seeing it for so long. Gotta take care of your garments. Let me grab this out. But this right here is the Dolce and Gabbana Fall Winter 17 Panda Bag. Um, Y'all seen it on Uzi. Uzi had the all white one, but the Panda one is the one that just stood out to me. And I kind of like this one and also the one that's like a giraffe, but this is what it looked like on back. Definitely one of my favorite pickups and considering I've been looking for it since 2017, 2018 when I first seen it, it's kind of crazy, but I got it for, I feel like it's still a thousand dollar bag that's vintage and I think it's hella cool. Like it's definitely a conversation starter every time I go out people are like oh I love your bag love your bag love your bag what I will say is do not wear this bag you're going somewhere crowded or it's raining or you're gonna be outside be careful about where you put it down at like you just cannot get this book bag dirty and if you do it kind of just lose value but I don't think this is something I'm ever gonna sell I think I'm gonna just keep collecting every one of them I think I'm gonna just collect every one of them like they Pokemon kind of so I'm gonna get all the ones that I like but yeah man it's your boy 1K. Appreciate y'all for watching this video and tuning in to everything that I didn't pick up this winter. Hopefully I can make another one of these soon. I'm going to Paris in about two weeks. Then I'm going to London from there. Then I'm going to Copenhagen. So if y'all know anybody that's a filmer or know what to do, I'm going to be out in Paris with Kyron. We're going to be chilling. It's going to be a good vibe, bro. So make sure y'all come tune in. I'm going to start vlogging a bunch of stuff, making more videos because I'm heavy on the YouTube shit. If y'all seen my uh, Instagram video this morning, then y'all know. And by the time this go up, it'll probably be some days past by then. But yeah, man, it's your boy 1K. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, bro. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And I'm going to do some giveaways soon because y'all didn't bless me to be in this position. And I got to put y'all together too. So it's your boy 1K. And I'm out. Peace.